Hello guys and welcome to another video. I'm here with Cookie, my ball python. And in this video I'm going to show you how I set up a juvenile ball python enclosure. And I'm going to use the Exoterra 45 by 45 by 30 And if I could go back in time, I would get the one that is 45 tall as well. But since I can't turn back time, the one that is 30 is going to have to do it. And I love these Exoterra terrariums because you can actually remove the lid, which makes it super easy to access the terrarium from the top especially when you set it up. To start everything off, I'm gonna add the substrate and I have pea and in the pea there are some sand, some leaf litter, some decaying wood, but it's mostly actually just pea. So I'm gonna add that to the bottom to get like a layer of the terrarium and then I'm gonna start adding the decor and then eventually I will probably add even more pea. As you can see, I put the heat mat right here and uh, that's where the hot height is gonna be. That's also where the humid height is gonna be. So I don't want to put too much peat right there because I want the heat from the heat mat to actually come up under the glass. And if you have too much substrate there, the heat is not going to come through all that substrate. Alright, so I'm going to add the humid height right here. It's going to be basically on top of the heat mat right there and that is because when you add the humid height you want a heat mat under it and if you actually warm it up with a heat mat it's going to become super humid which is what we want so the heat mat under the humid height and you're good to go and as you can see i'm adding some sphagnum moss into the humid height and that is what's going to retain the humidity in the height and once you got the sphagnum moss in there you're just going to add the lid and uh, you're good to go all right, so the humid hive is on its place and now we're gonna decorate the enclosure. I'm gonna do that into time-lapse with some nice music, at least I think it's nice music. And, uh, and then I'm gonna be back for uh, when I'm done with that. So I'll see you guys then. All right, so as you can see, the enclosure is done. I'm really happy how it looks. I love the humid height right there. I love the hot height right here where the height is actually above the heat mat. So it's gonna be hot height and that's gonna be the humid height because like I said before, it's above the heat mat. I have the water bowl right here where the ball python can actually go in and bait a little bit if it wants to. I have a cool hide back here. I don't know if you can see it on camera right now, but I know you saw it earlier, but it is a cool hide right there. And I also have another option for a cool hide right here on the other side. And one thing I learned recently is that ball pythons, they love to climb. They hunt a lot from trees in the wild. So that is one of the reasons why I wanted a terrarium that was a little bit taller than just 30 centimeters. But as you can see, I added a lot of climbing surfaces into the enclosure. So hopefully I can observe Cookie right here and see if she climbs a lot because before this upgrade cookie just lived in a critter keeper that was really not any surfaces for her to climb so i'm really excited to see how she's gonna adapt into this new enclosure so i'm gonna let cookie slither into her new home and i'm gonna show you some footage of that and then i'll be here for the outro so i'll see you guys then Well, 
Well, as you saw, Cookie went into her cool hide right away, so I couldn't really get that much footage of her exploring her new terrarium. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. If you want to support this channel even more than just watching this video, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, which is even more awesome because I love reading those comments. I reply to all of them, obviously. And if you want to become a mega supporter of this channel, you can actually join the Exotic Squad by hitting that join button below this video, and then you will actually join the membership of the channel. So please go and do that if you want to. And if you found this video interesting, funny, educational, or just if you enjoyed it, I have another video where I set up a terrarium for a baby ball python is right there. And have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.